The Shoto Museum of Art, Shibuya, opened in 1981. This building, which stands in a residential area that has escaped the hustle and bustle of Shibuya, was designed by Seiji Shirai. In January 2022, the museum exhibited the restored state as of the time of the opening. Curved entrance creates an expanse to the limited space in the residential area in Shibuya. Onyx used for the ceiling of the entrance reminds us of a tiger pattern. Curves stand out everywhere in this building. The central part of the building is an oval atrium. Due to this atrium, outside light reaches the second basement floor. There is a fountain on the second basement floor. The atrium has a bridge on the ground floor. This is the emblem on the fence. Every detail is decorated. From the corridor on the ground floor, you can overlook the first exhibition room on the first basement floor. The first exhibition room houses the Barcelona chairs of Mies van der Rohe. Shilai selected the furnishings of the museum. The glass windows are usually covered to protect the exhibits, but I think Shilai intended the room to receive natural light. In contrast to the first exhibition room where light comes in, the second exhibition room called Salon Muse is a dim space. The spacious space is like the living room of a mansion. Beams and columns are made of Brazilian rosewood. The walls, which look like concrete at first glance, are covered with Venetian velvet. The Venetian velvet is also used in the display case, which is in harmony with the exhibits. This building has two stairs. Both are spiral staircases. Shilai was particular about creating a beautiful spiral staircase. The shadows created by the lighting show beautiful curves.
Surprisingly, there is a tea room in this museum. The size of it is bigger than a normal tea room. But it has never been used for a tea ceremony since it opened. The calligraphy by Shilai is displayed at an alcove in the tea room. Shoto Museum of Art consists of ellipses and curves. This is a unique space created by Seiichi Shirai, who was called the philosophical architect. Thank you.